Hey guys, Ryan Bailey for Charlotte FC. This is Between Two Pints, and joining me today, we have a very special guest. It's our assistant coach, Mr. Christian Latanzio. Christian, how are you today? Hello, everyone. I'm very well, thank you. Thanks for the for the interview, Ryan. Looking forward to talk to you and uh, to introduce briefly myself to to Charlotte and to Charlotte supporters uh, that I'm really happy and honored to be part of. Well, we're looking forward to talking to you and hearing more about you, Christian. And let's start with how excited you are to come to Charlotte and to call the Queen City home. I'm really excited. Uh, th this was a project that uh, from day one since I was approached uh, really interested me a lot. And the more I knew about it, the more I liked it. I really enjoyed and liked the, what Charlotte was trying to do is trying to do and uh, to be part of this project for me it's uh, it's a great honor well that's very encouraging christian and you've worked with some of the biggest coaches in the world what are your thoughts on working with miguel angel ramirez and uh, and his approach his style and his philosophy what is it that attracts you to working with him as well yeah i cannot hide the fact that one of the reasons that really uh, convinced me to be part of charlotte was even this possibility to work with uh, someone like miguel that he comes from, despite his young age, I think he has already a wealth of experience behind him. Um, and the, like myself, he comes from the, he work along, uh, working with the young, uh, with young players, developing players, which I think is very important when you actually make the transition to the pro, because uh, many, many things that you find in the developing game is what you find also in the professional game and to have that kind of experience is vital in my opinion to succeed as a coach <clears throat> also this fact that uh, we had a brief chat before joining and this philosophy of football is very much like mine so that was another another plus and the methodology spanish methodology is something i've been always very interested in. and so the possibility to work with uh, miguel and Mikel is something that I'm really, really looking forward to. And I think Charlotte uh, hopefully will ride the benefit of that. Definitely. And was it attractive to start with a brand new team as well and to help shape the direction of a brand new franchise? Yeah, yeah. And I saw the enthusiasm of all people involved. Uh, everyone really, when I was in, uh, in talks at the beginning, really impressed me with the way, obviously with their professionality, but also with the enthusiasm and the willing to do well, it's also uh, is an international and very vibrant uh, group of people coming together. And I work already in this kind of environment and I really enjoy it because everybody has the possibility to bring their own experience and uh, knowledge. And when you, when you find good people, first of all, that are really there for the good of the, of the project and for, with no ego, but with uh, just the willing to share uh, experience and knowledge, you already are on the, on the right path, I think. And you mentioned the diverse backgrounds there, Christian. How important is that diversity in making a successful squad, not just with the coaching team, but with the players as well, because our players are from several different continents as well? Yeah, uh, this is um, something that is more, more and more common in football in professional football where people from all over the world that they come together uh, and uh, for players there are i think players are really fine with that and they are good they were born in that kind of environment so they are kind of used not always with the staff is that way but i think that the sporting director zoran kernt uh, i think he did a great job with that to assemble uh, people from from different parts of the world and i think that uh, first signs are really encouraging. It's, it's important because everybody of us grew up with a different way of seeing football and uh, little nuances at top level can make the difference. So to have the possibility to share ideas and to share experience, I think is only beneficial to everyone and to players as well. Absolutely. Now you have plenty of coaching experience from all around the world in Europe and in MLS. Are there differences in terms of playing style and in terms of culture in MLS that you've noticed? Yeah, uh, I thought MLS was a very, very interesting league. In Europe, it's still sometimes is mis, uh, misinterpreted. Uh, but uh, I kept watching MLS even after I came back to Europe or working with, with Nice. 
and uh, and I notice how the the league develops in terms of playing style and in terms of coaching, in terms of players, and uh, is the fastest growing league in the world in my opinion. That's why I wanted to go back into MLS. Um, I believe that the dif- differences are. Uh, obviously, there is this uh, limitation of salary cap, but <clears throat> I think that they are working with that. And that makes also the league quite fair, in a way, in comparison to, to European leagues, where the big uh, big guns are always there to be the big guns. Um, but uh, in terms of playing style, the MLS is interesting also because you get confronted with different uh, styles at once. In France, I noticed that the style Apart from one or two teams, it was very much the same, well organized defensively and tried to go on contra attack. I expected the French league to be a little bit more adventurous, but uh, that wasn't the case. It's, it's a preference that they had a lot of coaches. I understand because the pressure can be high. In MLS, I noticed that you have uh, different cultures uh, South American culture, Central American cultures, that are more. Uh, American culture, there are very good American coaches now that they are developing more and more. And uh, also European coaches coming from Holland, coming from uh, uh, France. And that only can make the league better and better. Definitely so. Now, you also worked with Man City's elite development squad. You work with their younger players. Do you have plans to work with Charlotte's academy players as well? Yeah, this is another thing that uh, I that interests me to to bring some of the experience that I developed in the last few years, uh, namely at Man City, um, to bring that kind of knowledge developed into the Charlotte Academy. I hear I'm hearing that Charlotte Academy is is doing well and they will develop further, more and more. And to bring uh, this uh, experience to, you know, to gap the bridge between academy and first team is always very interesting. Uh, I think that the good academy and the good club should produce a number of uh, homegrown players uh, if there is the right methodology and the right mentality in the, in the, in the club. Uh, at Manchester City, we were lucky we had uh, very good uh, young players, but also uh, They were young and they needed to be schooled. And we also had the facilities, but more uh, importantly, we had good people working with them. And I'm still in touch with lots of them, from Angelino, which is the guy that plays at Leipzig, uh, Jason Denea, the central defender of Lyon, and uh, a number of those, Marcos Lopez, uh, Brahim Diaz, IC Milan. So we had a number of players that I remember them being kids, 16, 17, but uh, with work and patience, they and they, obviously their talent, they went on to become uh, some of the best players in Europe at the moment. That's fantastic stuff. Christine, it's been an absolute pleasure chatting with you today. Just one last question for you. I want you to visualize that opening day at Bank of America Stadium. There's 74,000 fans. How do you feel about that day? What do you see when you picture it? Listen, I've done that exercise already, <laughs> Ryan, and uh, I, I cannot wait for that day. I think uh, I know what kind of a atmosphere you can find in MLS. It's great. And I've been told that Charlotte is uh, one of the best from this point of view. Great uh, sporting city. I can picture a full stadium with a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of uh, you know, energy, positive energy in the air. And to be part of that it can only be a dream for any for any sportsman, any coach, any player, any uh, you know anyone involved in sports, journalist, uh, supporter. And that day has to be special. And uh, as I said, I've visualized that day many many times. Can't yeah. wait for it. Likewise. Now you're from Rome, so I think we need to get a chant of "Die, Charlotte." Did I get that right? <laughs> <laughs> that is not Daige, it's Daige. Daige, Charlotte. There we go. Daige, Daige, <laughs> yes. Christy, it's been an absolute pleasure chatting with you. Grazie. Cheers. Prego. And uh, all the best to you, Ryan, and to Charlotte's supporters. Thank you very much.